Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sammy here with another plan with me. This week we're going to be planning Monday, March 21st through Sunday, March 27th in my Moxie Life planner. I'm so excited. This is the first plan with me I'm doing in this planner. Um, legitimately, last week I played in this planner. I was super sick this last week. Um, today's the 20th, so it's Sunday. Um, but I got the flu and it sucked balls really bad. Um, it was hot garbage and I tried going to work earlier in the week. Like I know I stayed home Monday, but then Tuesday I tried going in because it was the last week of the quarter. And I felt guilty for calling in and not being able to have a sub because subs are not existent right now um, in education. And so my coworkers on their prep had to cover all my classes and I felt bad about it. So I tried coming in Tuesday and that was the worst idea ever. I literally thought I was going to die. And I came home, I started taking medicine and whatnot again and my temperature was through the roof I had another fever and I was gonna go back to work on Wednesday because that's how smart I am um and my husband was like you're staying home and I know I wasn't supposed to be going to work being that sick but I also just felt so guilty um that's one of the hardest things right now of teaching is I want to be there I want to be there for my kids and I want to be able to do my job but um, I'm also super sick and dying, <laughs> and so I want to stay home and get better, but there's no one to cover my classes. Um, so anyway, I emailed my principal Tuesday night and just let him know what was going on, and then I just stayed home the rest of the week. Luckily, it was a short week anyway. We just had work. Wednesday and Thursday, and Thursday was the last day of the term, and so we had Friday off. <coughs> so, it was fine, but now all my sick leave is obliterated, and I don't have any more, so hopefully I can make it through the next two months of school without being sick. But anyway, um, so I just use this really as a memory type kind of spread. I did a little bit of journaling. I tried to do some planning towards the weekend when I started to feel better. Um, but yeah, but we are jumping in to a new week. I'm super excited. Um, so let's just get into this. Um, since this is the first time of being in this planner, it might be a little longer of a video because I still want to do the same stuff that I've been doing, but, um, in this planner, which is different. I've never planned in this planner before. Um, one thing that I did do <laughs> is I took all my Erin Condren planning stuff, ripped it out of that planner and put it in here. Um, one trick that I found is I would take like cardstock and make a strip of it and then I use my happy planner punch and punch it with that and that works to make this wire binding um stuff so I'm gonna kind of refer back to this as I'm trying to plan this but first let's get down those date stickers um it's like the last full week of March, which is kind of crazy because in a way, I just feel like March started, but in another way, I feel like it's existed for 10 million years. So I don't know. I feel like that's just because I felt like third term was lasting forever. And now that it's over, I am so excited that we are in fourth term. Um, it is a good feeling to know that I only have like 10 more weeks of teaching school this year. And then I have a break, summer vacation. It'd be so nice um, to enjoy that, so. 
here we go also i i can't remember my brain is mush still from being sick but this is the um christian designs spring kit it comes in her <coughs> excuse me celebrations collection and this is the sheet that comes in the collection right here and then these are the add-ons that i got to go with it um so you have to buy these separately but i love them um i was going to actually want to use this kit the, the day of the first week of spring or the first day of spring um but that's actually today march 20th and i had already used my saint patrick's day kit that week so we bumped this one down but that's okay because we can celebrate spring all the time even though as i look out my window it is currently snowing so that is depressing <laughs> um we'll pretend it's just spring cotton blowing through the cold wind of utah i love it not really i am definitely in need of warmer weather i told my students that too that once it gets warm i'd be down to going outside and letting them read outside in the field um at our school so we'll see how that goes okay no, I don't know if I want to use this washi or if I want to find some other washi that I have. But I don't know what I want to do. Gosh, dang it. Because mm, I really wish that these strips were longer. <coughs> Or they were two of the same color so I could overlap them. That would be really nice. But that is not the case. So I am going to quickly look through my washi <clears throat> and see if I have something worth using for this spread. Okay, we are back. Um... Sorry, I had to pause because my washi box is right next to where my little crane hook thing is that's holding my phone to film this video. And so if I tried to open it, it would hit the thing and everything would go crazy. So I found these two washi and I think I'm liking this bluish one. I know it doesn't really match either of the blues, but I like... The pink flowers in it and it's still kind of fun or there's this one and I don't know how I feel about that either it matches better but it's just gold stripes um I'm gonna go with the flowers and I'm just going to ignore the fact that it's not a spot-on match it's still really cute <coughs> And that's all that matters, right? If I can figure out where it starts. There we go. Okie dokie. Mm. Yes. I do like that. I had to think about it for a minute. Let me get my exacto knife. That's crooked, but whatever. Here we go. Let's get started. So, I need to do my top three, and I will be using these mild liners for that. Um, just because they match everything else, so why not, right? 
And guys, I love the fact that I literally can go in here and just start marking things up instead of having to worry about whiting everything out. Because that was one of my biggest pet peeves with my Erin Condren Hourly. Is that I literally had to spend the time to white out all the times because it bugged me that they were there. But I liked the lines and I liked the vertical like setup like this. <sighs> Those times, man. They were killer. Okay. Also, I'm changing things up. I normally use this Bic Gelosity pen and all my pens died. So I ordered some new ones and they, I guess, got a new design to them. And I've been writing with this all weekend, but it is hot garbage. It keeps skipping whenever I write with it. And so I don't know if it's just that it's still trying to write or what's going on. But until I get this fixed, I am just going to write with my Sharpie pen. Um, so that's what we're going to do with these. And maybe I'll just stick with this pen. I don't know. I love how it writes and I love the thickness. But... I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay, so Monday. My top three. I need to um, take care of a Nearpod for Tuesday. <coughs> Monday is the first day of fourth term. And I use this day really to just like review things with my kids. We go back over my disclosure statement and the syllabus. We talk about what we're going to be doing that quarter. We review things like my late work policy and things like that. Just so they can be reminded. Because even still, they forget. Like, I've gotten emails all weekend asking if they can have an extension on things. And I'm like, guys, the end of the term was Thursday. You should have emailed me before then so I could help you. Um, and I've already submitted my grades. And so I had to tell them no. Which makes me sad because I want to help them. Obviously. Um, but I can only do so much when they decide to ask me things last minute. So, but that's what we're doing on Monday. And then the Nearpod is for Tuesday. We're starting our poetry unit. Um, and I'm really excited about it. And I like to do a Nearpod activity with them that Tuesday to kind of introduce poetry. And then Wednesday we're in the library so they can find their book for the quarter. And then Thursday we get to start March Madness. And so I do a poetry March Madness with them. And it'll be super fun. I'm excited. I've revamped everything and so... Hopefully they enjoy it. Um, and then I have epilepsy paperwork that I need to go take to the hospital. Every year since I have epilepsy, I have to get my doctor's approval um, that I am allowed to drive. Because in the state of Utah, you have to document that. They go by, like, basically the honor code, like... They just take your word for it so you can drive but every year um they want like a physical documentation uh, from my doctor saying that I am okay to drive but if I were to have a seizure technically I can't drive for four months but that's where the honor code comes in and that's just me not driving for four months I don't have to call anyone or document anything um but anyway I got this paperwork a couple weeks ago and I just have not been able to get in because I've been sick and other things have happened and so we are getting that done tomorrow. Um, Tuesday, 
I need to talk to my secretary because I have a physical, like a doctor's physical, next week. Um, and I try to get it scheduled after work, but the latest they could do it was at 2 o'clock. And so I need to talk to my secretary to see if I can leave early that day. Um, because it kind of works out because my prep period is seventh period. And then the only class we have after that is just like our advisory. It's like a study hall. Home base is what we call it. Um, and so if I leave at the end of my prep, then all I have left is like that 25 minute study hall period. And so as long as I can like ask teachers around me, like, Hey, will you take two kids and you take two kids, um, and have them just be in their study hall that day, that should work. Cause then I don't have to find a sub, which like I've said before, they don't exist. So I'm hoping we can work that out because like I said, I have no more sick leave. I don't really have any time off now because of COVID and my flu and being sick. So I'm hoping that will work. But I need to go talk to her about it so I can figure that out because it's next week that that's happening. Um, and then choice board, I need to finish up my technology choice board for work. Um, it's not due till May, but I'm almost done with it. And so, I just want to get it done, because I'm sick of it being hang, hung over my head. Okay, Wednesday, I need to work out. Get back in the habit of that, since I've been sick and that hasn't been a thing. And then I need to figure out my class wallet. Um, we have this thing where we get so much money from the state to spend in our classroom <coughs> and I being a new teacher I don't know what I want to use mine for and so I keep getting these emails saying you have until the end of March to spend this money but I don't know what to use it for because all the sites that they have that we can buy stuff from first off one of them is not Amazon which I'm kind of sad about because I could get stuff from there. But it's just like staples and like all like these like. They're more geared to elementary teachers. And so it's hard because I'm an English teacher. What do I need? I need books really. Um, it would be really cool if I could get some like class sets of books for like book clubs. But I haven't found a resource like that within this program to do that. So I'm just like. I don't know what you want me to do. So I was going to talk to a teacher and see what she normally uses for that because our principal wants us to use the money because if we don't use it, we lose it type thing. Um, which makes sense. Thursday, as of right now, I just have my choice board that I need to complete. Um, I need to work out tomorrow too. Mm, I'm actually just going to work out once this week because I'm still kind of sick and I'm not feeling it. I'm not going to lie. Um, so now we're going to stick these down. I'm really liking how this looks so far. It's really fun. <clears throat> Perfect. One thing that I'm still trying to get used to with the Moxie Life, come on, is 
having Thursday on the side of the page because in my Erin Condren planner, it was on the other side. And so it kind of freaks me out that it's all right here. <coughs> okay, next we have the today stuff. And honestly, like I've said before, this week is really low key. Like, we're really doing nothing. Um, so, I'm still going to write down, like, what I have so far. And then if I need to add anything, I'll just add it to my daily planner. Because... I don't imagine anything popping up this week until the weekend. That's normally when things start happening because <coughs> things are so the same every day around here during the week. But I'm definitely still writing in my AM routine and then work. And then my PM routine, I'm still trying to get into the habit of all of that. Um, so then Tuesday, same thing. AM routine. And then work. And then we actually have a grade level meeting that morning at 7, I want to say 7.20. <clears throat> and then PM routine. One thing that I'm going to start doing as well is I'm going to break down my am and pm routine in my daily planner and actually write them out until i am like in the habit of doing them i've also thought about simplifying them a little bit more i'm still my daughter's almost 18 months old and i'm still trying to find a good happy medium for routines um for myself with her in the mix because I am still very used to the fact that I could sleep and then wake up and just hurry and get ready and go to work and now that I have a toddler that is not the case and it makes me sad sometimes because it's super stressful okay um <laughs> Next, we're just gonna stick this right here. And then, I don't know what we're doing for food this week, honestly. Um, with being sick and whatnot, I still need to go to the grocery store. <laughs> so we'll probably do that later tonight. <coughs> um, and worry about that later. But I'll probably put those in right here or right here. Um, depending on what we end up doing. So, let's finish up this week on this side before I forget we're gonna put our fun little weekend sticker right here okay and then we're just gonna finish this up I'm really loving this layout 
that I have kind of discovered and made for myself. I know it's kind of copying the plum paper priorities in a different planner, but it's really working for me and I love this planner so much. Um, I'm definitely sold on it and we'll be planning on buying one again. But um, I just love it. It makes me happy that I'm finally like finding something that works with planning. <coughs> and I'm allowing myself to enjoy it. Okay, so for Friday, I need to do my painting for the month. And then I need a meal plan. Saturday, I need to get groceries. And then Sunday is plan, um, tidy. And then fill tank. <laughs> Keeping things still fairly simple. Like I've mentioned before, I really don't know or things could pop up. And so I don't want to like over schedule myself with things. just to have a full planner. Okay, dokie. So, now for the today stuff, I'm just gonna move things around here. I'm actually really liking how the Sharpie pen writes on the mild liners because sometimes it would dry out my Bic pen and that would make me really sad because then my pen would just be dead. Okay. <coughs> For Friday, whoops, same thing, AM routine, work, and then routine. For Saturday, I have my AM routine. And then I actually have a date night with my husband that night. So, let's see what kind of stickers we have going on. Let's actually do this. Use this little snail. <laughs> do I want to keep the snail or do I want to cover it up with a hard eye? Steve. Mm. I'll keep it. I'm going to put hard eye Steve right here. And then I use just the microperm pen to write on the Chrissy Ann sign secures. Date night. And fun fact, I don't even know what we're doing. We need to figure that out. Um, I'm trying to be better about planning my date nights with my husband. Instead of just being like, hey, we're going to do this. So, we need to figure that out. And then PM routine. Sunday. 
we are also going to be visiting my husband's family because <coughs> it's my mother-in-law's birthday so we're actually gonna do a little flower and i'm gonna write her birthday in there A.M. P.M. routine at the bottom. I wanted to put a sticker right here. It says visit family because I know my husband said we we're gonna go visit them. I don't want to forget that. <coughs> okay. I know. Yeah, I'm afraid of that. So we're gonna fix this because. Okay. There we go. And then we will hurry and just slap down this other one right here. I might add some deco later. I don't know. We'll see. Because I want to get my habits written in really quick. <coughs> Which are AM routine. PM routine. I'm trying to remember what they are from the power sheets without. Okay, water bottle. And then I'm just gonna write Be Brave. So I can finish my Be Brave book. Okay. Here is my week. Like I said, it's very low key. Nothing too crazy is going on. I really like how this turned out. Um, in my planner, I really love the Moxie Life paper, especially with that Sharpie pen. I might just continue to use it, honestly, and kick the big pen to the side for a minute. Um, but anyway, this is my week. I hope you enjoyed this plan with me and I hope you guys have a great week ahead. Um, and I will catch you guys in my next video. So until next time guys, have a great day. Bye.